I'm Blaine Harvey. I'm a research fellow in the climate change team here at uh, the Institute of Development Studies. I work a lot on knowledge, learning, and um, information communication technologies to support uh, adaptation to climate change, particularly in developing country contexts and especially in Africa. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about a little bit is uh, some areas that we're working on here at IDS um, in an upcoming IDS bulletin on research communication. And um, this is something that I'm co-editing with some colleagues here. Uh, we're focusing on three areas that we think are sort of areas where there are big shifts around research communication. Um, the first area that, that we're focusing on is around the context, which is around the political economy of knowledge and how that's changing, how the value of research is shifting, how our understanding of um, value for money, as some people might call it, um, in terms of funding research, has changed what we think is important and our priorities. And that's had a, a big effect on what we think is important for communication um, and, and what we try to communicate and to whom. Um, another aspect that we're looking at within that is, um, is around networks and partnerships. And as, uh, as you know, within international development, there's a lot of focus on creating North-South partnership, um, on exchange, transfer of knowledge between the North and South, and on creating sort of new networks for knowledge sharing and knowledge transmission, as well as uh, North, North and South, as well as South-South, uh, is being increasingly important. Uh, new technologies are allowing that to happen, but they're also introducing gaps um, where getting the right people involved in networks can be a challenge. Um, and this is something that IDS has worked a lot on around knowledge sharing, knowledge partnerships to uh, facilitate development. And we think that there's a lot to be learned still in this area about what makes strong networks, what makes networks sustainable, and how do partnerships benefit different people in different ways. So um, we'll, be, we'll be thinking a little bit about some of those and looking at examples um, of them from a, from a wide range of contexts and, uh, and areas. Um, the last one, and perhaps the one that's the most obvious, is around the role of new and emerging technologies. And um, I think that new ICTs get a lot of press, they get covered a lot. If we look at the, um, you know, the Arab Spring as an example, a lot of people would perhaps believe that uh, Twitter was, uh, was the thing that made it all change. And maybe that's true to an extent, but we, we need to be careful about thinking that technology is what drives everything. Technology can include certain people, but it can also include, dis exclude a lot of other people. And understanding the roles and the potentials of technology in furthering research communication, in engaging new audiences and new types of people, and in producing new types of knowledge, uh, we think is a really important area for, for exploring. So those are some of the areas that I think we're quite interested in. Uh, we as an institute are investing a lot of time in, and, um, and we'll be exploring in, uh, in an upcoming edition of the IDS Bulletin. So I think that, uh, you know, I encourage people to have a look at that. And I also think that it's a, an area that we should be dialoguing, especially with our partners from the South, around to understand really how, um, how they're perceiving it from their own um, contexts.